Hey everyone and welcome to my channel. Today's video is Vlogtober day 25. I can't believe I made it this far um, into Vlogtober, but with planning ahead, you can do anything you wanna do. So today I am gonna go and pick up the ingredients to make um, the macaroni soup. Um, and so this video is in collaboration with my girl, Just Sharice, as we are bringing you all a soup recipe. So the weather is getting a little chillier outside. And of course, this is another great way to meal prep, is to make one big bowl of soup. Not only can you have it for lunch, you can also have it for dinner. So, um, be sure to check out Just Sharice's video at the end of this video, and I also will have it linked in my description box down below, as well as her channel, so that you guys can go over and subscribe. So, look no further, let's go ahead and jump right into the macaroni soup. This macaroni soup recipe is simple to make, warming and filling. It's loaded with plenty of vegetables, ground beef, and a delicious tomato broth. So this is a an Italian American um, dish. It's a soup, and it has the beef in it. It is going to take us about 40 minutes total to get this soup cooked up. This soup is going to make about six servings. And here are the ingredients. First, I have the Italian seasoning. I also have salt. I also have pepper. Um, a 15 ounce can of golden sweet whole kernel corn. And I also have a 28 ounce can of the petite diced tomatoes and tomato juice. Um, I also have two containers of the beef broth. You are going to measure out four cups, so I did just buy two just in case. Also have minced garlic, some onions, carrots and celery already chopped up, that ground beef chuck, and um, some elbow noodles. Okay, let's start out by getting a large soup pot. So I'm gonna use the biggest one that I have. I am gonna be adding in the um, olive oil. I'm also gonna add in the onion and the beef. Okay, so I am going to be adding in half a tablespoon of the olive oil. Okay, so now we're gonna go ahead and add in that half a medium onion chopped. I'm also gonna be adding in the Okay, so we're gonna let this um, sizzle and um, make for about seven minutes. In the meantime, just continue to um, chop up your meat, move things around. Watch how the meat goes from brown to, I mean, pink to brown. Just make sure you're stirring it up as much as you can. Okay, so next I'm gonna add in two teaspoons of minced garlic. If you do not feel like mincing the garlic yourself, use two teaspoons of the minced garlic instead of the four cloves that it asks for. Stir this in for about 30 seconds. All right, so now we're gonna add in the remaining ingredients, um, except for the macaroni noodles and the salt and pepper. 
Make sure that you drain your excess juice from your hamburger, meat, um, and that olive oil that was used to cook all of this. So now I have my celery and carrots um, in here. I am stirring it up. I'm going to get ready to add in those four cups of beef broth. So for the beef broth, I only ended up using one whole container worth. Um, so that means that I have a whole another container that I can put back in the cabinet. I'm going to get ready to throw in the sweet um, corn and then the petite diced tomatoes. Yes, drain your corn. Alright, so I'm adding in the, the tomato. You do not drain it. Give everything a good stir. Alright, so I gave everything a good stir. I am now just going to add in two dashes of some Italian seasonings. Let that get a good simmer here. I'm going to let this cook for about 10 minutes. I'm going to put the top on. Just like this. When the 10 minutes is up, we'll add in those elbow noodles. I'm not going to add all of it because this is a two pound box. I probably will add half to equivalent to one pound. Um, and then I'll let this cook in the pot for about 12 to 15 minutes or until they're at least tender. All right, so once it came to a boil, I, once it came to a boil, I turned it on low. For it to simmer, I am going to give it a good stir again. Alright, now let's go ahead and add in those elbow noodles. I'm going to put the top on it just a little bit and put a timer of four minutes on. That way I can come back and stir it in four minutes. And I'll just break it up into four more minutes and then four more minutes again to get us to the 12 minutes. And if I need to do another four to five minutes, we'll do that. All right, we're going to take the lid off again. Give it a little stir. It has been... Um, the first four minutes remember we want to stir it that way the noodles don't stick to the bottom Alright, so we'll let this cook for the last four minutes um, and then I'll just give the elbow noodles a taste to see if they need um, another three to four minutes. Okay, I have tried it. It is definitely hot. The noodles are definitely tender. Um, the last thing to do is pour yourself a bowl, put some salt and pepper on it to your desire and to enjoy.
I just want to say thank you all so much for watching this video. If you liked it, be sure to give it a thumbs up, comment down below, and also to consider hitting that subscribe button. Now that we have came to the end of the video, please be sure to go and check out just Sharice's video as she is bringing you all another soup recipe for the fall. The macaroni soup I thought would be great for, um, you know, just like either on a cold day, feeling sick, not feeling too well or just if you um, love pasta with hamburger meat and like a tomato juice um, taste to it so see you guys for vlogtober day 26